This is a quick video to show you logical operators in C programming language. I'll take a variable a and print out its value onto the console window. Its value will be either true or false. Uh, 1 means true, 0 means false. Technically, any non-zero number is true. So on both sides, if there is one one which is true true, the value will be true. If one of the operands is false, then it will return false. By the way, this is called logical and operator. So if both side of it is false, then it will obviously return false. Let me check with logical or now. Two pipe symbol is logical or. So if both side of it is false, then it will return false, that is zero. In this logical or, any one condition, if any one condition is true, it will return true. So if both the condition is true, obviously it will return true. Now the logical not operator. If you give it true value, it will return false value. If you give it false value, it will return true value. That's it. It will just negate the Boolean value. So just don't get confused. Well, I'll, I'll take some relational operator and show you how it works. So I'll take B is equal to 100. Now let me check if B is 100. And I'll have logical and operator here. And if B is greater than 50. So both of these conditions are true. So logical and should return true value. So A should be 1. Yeah, it's working. So if any one condition is false, B is greater than 100. No, it's not true. So it's it will return false value. For logical R, B is equal to 100 is true. Even if one condition is true, it will return true value. Okay. So I'll remove this and show you logical not operator. So this should throw zero because B is not greater than 100. If you put a not there, it will, it will give you one that is true value. It will just negate the Boolean value. So this is how we use logical and logical or and logical not operator this these three things are called logical operators in c these are also called conditional operators they usually return they they only return boolean values that is true or false values we will show you more examples by writing programs in coming videos please do not forget to share this video with your friends on social media sites stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please do not forget to visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for more notes and code and do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you